I thought it was about time to stretch out the capabilities of my 11 and a half inch AR. So today we're testing out the Juliet 3 Micro 3X magnifier from Sig Sauer. I'll take a couple shots with just the red dot first. Welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical. Today I am very excited to be able to bring you this. This is the Sig Sauer Juliet 3 Micro 3X magnifier and it's pretty awesome. I got it mounted up on my 11.5 inch AR pistol behind the Sig Romeo 5 red dot and I mean it works perfectly with this. Before we get started just please make sure that you're subscribed. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future content that I put out. Leave me a comment and share and like this video. Well, let's get started. So glass clarity with this thing is awesome. Eye relief is a little short. I realized I had to uh, tighten up on my brace just a tiny bit there. Sure makes those longer shots easier. So if you've followed my channel at all, you know that I am a fan of SIG optics. I think that especially if you're on a budget, they are a fantastic option. I've been running the Romeo 5 red dot on a couple of different platforms here. And I've got the SIG Tango MSR 1 to 6 on my 16 inch rifle. And so far, that was my only magnified optic, but I always wanted to try one of these flip to the side 3X magnifiers. And I finally just decided to pull the proverbial trigger and get one, kind of a Christmas present for myself. And I'm really happy I did. This thing is pretty sweet. It's a, so it's 3X magnification. So you don't have quite the range that you do with something like a one to six LPVO, but what you, what you lack in more magnification, you make up for in speed, which is really cool because by flipping this thing to the side, you get true one X, you know, standard red dot, which is about the fastest kind of sighting system that you can have. Whereas on an LPVO, even dialed all the way down to 1x, generally it's not quite as good 1x as what you would get with like a red dot. So that is an advantage to this. But like everything in firearms, there are pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages. And this is no different. Um, so we're going to go up close in a second and take a look at it. But what I do like about it, so it comes with all these different mounting heights. There's different like spacers that you can put in here. The one that it comes on it is the 1.41 um, exact co-witness. And so that just lines up absolutely perfectly with my Romeo 5 red dot, which I need to turn down because I was just out at the range and it was bright out there. What I have found about, about this thing though, the, the eye relief, not fantastic, but that's going to be the same with any magnifier that you get. So I can't really ding it for that. It's just the design of a magnifier, your eye relief is going to be close. And so what I've learned is to just run my brace in a little bit closer and then I get a perfect sight picture with it. If my brace is all the way out. It's a little bit far away so you do kind of have to put your nose to the charging handle to get the right sight picture or you're gonna have to mount this thing farther back but part of the reason that I wanted it is with the whole flip to side I could still use my backup iron sights if I need to 
just in case the optic, either one of them at this point, ever went down. I've always felt like backup iron sights are a smart thing to have. And so you're able to retain those with the design of this and still keep it all on your rail. As long as you're okay with running your brace just in a little bit closer to get that good sight picture. Now, like with my LPVO up here on this one, I, I ended up having to forego my backup iron sights for a couple reasons. For one, unless I get a higher mount for it, there just wasn't enough room between the scope and the Picatinny top rail. But for two, the same mount isn't a QD mount. I can't just quickly take it off, so it would be pointless to run back of iron sights anyway. And it's got an etched reticle, so even if like your battery's running out or something, you're still gonna be just fine. With a red dot, I am all about backup iron sights, even though today's red dots are very robust and reliable. It's just smart, you know? One is none, two is one, right? Let's take a good look at this thing up close though. So, this is the SIG Juliet 3 Micro Magnifier. And so this is what we get in the box here. Let's move this. Instructions, lens cloth, and this is the magnifier. Comes with a nice bikini cover here. And this is what's really cool about it. So you've got a mount here that is pretty solid. It's a push button and then it flips to the side. This hooks on to your Picatinny top rail on your AR-15. You can crank it down and tighten it to the correct spec, which I believe is like 46 inch pounds. It's a very solid feeling mount, which is nice. Um, that's a big detriment to a lot of magnifiers is the actual mount, and that's usually where they break. But this mount feels very solid. Push the button, it's got solid springs in here, and it clicks into place both open and closed very solidly. The aluminum housing on it feels very robust. The glass is extremely clear, and it's harder to really tell on the camera here. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. But just take my word for it, the glass is very clear. Like I said, the eye relief, not fantastic, but that's to be expected with any magnifier. But I do really like how clearly you can see through this thing. You've got your windage and elevation on here, and they're not going to adjust <clears throat> your point of aim, point of impact. But what you can do with them is actually adjust where, once you have that um, point of impact adjusted right on your actual red dot, you can use the windage and elevation adjustment on here to get that dot centered in the middle of, of your screen here. <laughs> um, it also has your diopter here just to make sure that you can crisp up that reticle and make it look as clear as possible for, you know, everyone's vision. Lots of people have, you know, their vision's different. So that really helps. Besides that here, you get different size mounts for absolute co-witness, lower one third, you get all the different screws for them, um, and then you get, of course, your tool for making adjustments. So you can see you've got your, you know, your small plate here, your bigger one here for like a 1.93, um, lower one third, the small one, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's a little bit above absolute co-witness. What I have on it right now is the 1.41 absolute co-witness. And the reason for that is because that is the height that my red dot is at. So let's mount this thing back up. I just pulled it off just to kind of show you guys everything there, but this is not easy to do behind the camera, but we'll see if we can make it happen. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, it's really not easy to do behind the camera. There we go. All right. So, mounts up very solid, very easy. It is. I'm going to, uh, you know, tighten that down to spec again later. We're not going to do that on camera. But it's very cool. So, push that to the side extremely easily. Thumb on the button, and it comes right back. 
If you are running SIG optics like the Romeo 5 or the Romeo MSR, which they do sell, you can get a combo of this and the Romeo MSR for like 300 bucks, less than that. Actually, I see it fairly often for less than that, which is an extremely good deal considering that this itself is like 200 bucks. It's like $199 for the magnifier. So um, when you see those combos for like 269 or something, you're basically getting the red dot for 70 bucks, which is just absolutely crazy. But the Romeo 5 is about $120, $130. So between the two of these, you're looking at about $320, $330, which is actually a little bit more than what my Tango MSR 1 to 6 um, LPVO costs. But again, you do have you know pros and cons. This one being extremely fast to go from 1x to magnified at 3x whether you need to use this to um, just for you know be able to tell what you're looking at and whether you should shoot at it or not or just to you know make a farther target a little bit easier to see which is what I was doing with it out there today I was shooting at a four inch target that I put on a piece of wood and stuck out there in the snow because it is very hard to carry the steel targets out there when I got a hike out this time of year. And it was a lot easier to make sure that I was on target with the 3X magnification. So I had to hike way out here in about knee deep snow. It's four degrees out today, but I feel like adverse conditions are great for testing out equipment. So let's do it. So I am actually very impressed with this. Um, for the price, magnifiers are not cheap. Um, like a, an EOTech G33 is a very expensive magnifier. And from what I've seen online, people say that this compares very favorably to something like that as far as the eye relief, the glass clarity, those kinds of things go. Now one thing you're gonna notice about it, because of its compact size, it is a micro magnifier. Um, your eye relief is going to kind of be even a little bit shorter just because of where the back of it is. And so I found myself having to adjust my brace farther forward in order to get the right kind of sight picture. And then it was very easy to get a great sight picture. With my brace all the way back, like I normally always ran it, don't quite have the eye relief. Although that works great for running just the red dot. If you're gonna be running the magnifier, you're gonna want your nose almost to your charging handle. Um, but I didn't find that to be an issue. Um, it's just something I had to learn about it in order to get the correct sight picture um, more easily. You're just gonna to have to run your face a little bit closer to this thing. Or like I said earlier, forego your backup iron sights and run the magnifier farther back on your rail, um, which is definitely an option as well. Um, it is waterproof. It is very robust, aircraft grade, CNC to aluminum, and um, it's just very solid and robust. This, uh, one of the things that I was concerned about before getting this magnifier was having another failure point on my firearm, um, but I don't see that being an issue now at this point. This, uh, this mounting system and the flip to side uh, mechanism here is very solid. It feels very positive when you flip it either direction. And I think it adds a lot of capability to this gun. Um, you know, this is, now that I've built my, my real CQB ARs, uh, meaning my nine millimeter, my 300 blackout, I felt like it only made sense to put a magnified optic on my 11 and a half because an 11 and a half inch 556, you really can reach out to some pretty decent distances. It definitely is capable of reaching out to 300 yards plus, um, you know, and still being effective. 
And so I wanted to be able to positively identify targets at a longer range. And this gives me just that little bit more capability than I had with just a red dot. And so I really, really like it for something like this, you know, 11 and a half AR pistol. Um, I really do like the LPVO on my 16 inch rifle. I think that that is appropriate for something like that. But for something like this 11 and a half or like a 10.3, like a Mark 18 or something, red, not, red dot magnifier combo, I think is pretty awesome. And I'm gonna do a comparison We'll see how soon, um, <laughs> we've got tons of snow here in the last few weeks. And so it was, it was a hike to get out there to go get some range footage and do some shooting with this thing today. But I had to test it out and I wanna bring you guys, you know, the footage. I can't talk about something unless I've actually used it. So I got this thing earlier this week. Those were the first shots with it. Um, and so we'll see as I use it more, you know, we'll do another video about what I think of it after I've put a lot of rounds through it with this magnifier and also a comparison of this and the LPVO. Um, so that will be coming here soon. You know, even if I have to hike out there carrying two rifles or a rifle and a pistol, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, we'll do what we got to do to bring you guys the content because that's what I love to do. I hope that you guys enjoy it too. I gotta say, so far I'm very impressed with this thing. I've got an LPVO on uh, my other rifle and uh, this 3X magnification is pretty decent for most of the distances I'm shooting at. So one of the things that I love about the AR-15 platform is just how versatile it is and how you can really do so many different things with it. I, you know, this AR was very, very basic when I first got it and I've added a lot of stuff to it and it's made it heavy. Like it's not, it's a heavy firearm now, but it has a lot more capability than it used to. And this just adds that much more capability to it, makes it that much more shootable at a greater distance. And it's, it's something that's just fun and exciting to me and that I really enjoy doing. And I hope you guys do too. And I hope that you subscribe to the channel and that you hit that notifications bell icon so that you see when I post more videos um, because I've got a lot of good stuff coming. I'm about to start a new build series, um, a Gucci Glock build. I've got the, uh, the Glock, the grip frame on the way right now to my FFL. So stay tuned for episode one of that. Um, please leave me a comment. Do you run a red dot only? Red dot and magnifier combo, LPVO. What kind of optic setup are you running? And um, check out down below. I'm gonna leave links for my Patreon. I would really appreciate anybody joining that. Um, help be able to pay for more cool stuff to review on the channel. That'd be awesome. I'm also going to have a link. I bought this on Amazon. It came through Euro Optic. Um, but I bought it on Amazon is where I found the best price for it. And I'll leave a link down below. It is an affiliate link. But if you click on that, it doesn't cost you anything extra. And in fact, that's where I found the best price on this. But if you buy this or anything else through Amazon after clicking the link, it gives the channel a little kickback, helps me to keep creating videos, and is greatly appreciated. So from Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.